March 2020, when classrooms and education norms around the world changed almost overnight. Our school doors would close, disrupting life as we knew it. Suddenly, everything was unknown. Suddenly, everything had changed. Much of what we had taken for granted was taken from us. We ask ourselves, what's going to happen to school? How will we learn? When will we get to see our friends and teachers? How would we respond? With guidance from our teachers and families, we adapted. We may not have been taught all of the curriculum, but the lessons we learned were more impactful. We developed lifelong skills. And we gained a whole new set of tools to access learning. Hi, it's Mackenzie here. Today I'm going to be telling you what resilience means, some of my challenges that I faced during Zoom school, um, and how I overcame and how I felt during Zoom school. So here we go. Showing resilience means challenges that you faced or putting one foot in front of the other. One of my challenges was my dog barking during Zoom school. How I overcame this challenge was asking my mom to put my dog outside. What was your resilience during school? We persevered. And as we look back on the past school year, we find we have learned perhaps the greatest lesson of all. If we work together, we can overcome challenges that come our way. We are in a mode of transition and change again. Instead of seeking normality, we can seek positive change. Let's go back stronger with Lydia and Chris. Let's go back stronger with student direction and diversity in assessment. Let's go back with successful attitudes and clear mind. But first, what we need is consistency. Balance. Leniency. Leverage. And time. What will the future look like for students and educators? We're not completely sure. But you know what? We know we're going to be okay.